Here's the Western Conference standings. Look at LA, 89 points, just three back of Vegas. Holding on to that wild card spot, five clear of the Blues, but it's Vancouver with the big win over Arizona, and Edmonton with the big loss in Dallas. Seven point spread atop the, the Pacific, and that's why I'm bringing back Frankie Corrado once again. You know, I know Edmonton fans, their minds were thinking, hey, we got a chance to catch this Vancouver Canucks team. But first of all, abysmal performance against Dallas. In your mind, Frankie, is the race for first the Pacific over? It is over. It belongs to the Vancouver Canucks, and it's well-deserved, Jay. They've been a very good team from start to finish this season. And I think Rick Tockett deserves a lot of credit. The star players on that team deserve a lot of credit. Jim Rutherford and Patrick Alvine, the way they've been able to bolster that blue line, deserve a lot of credit for the Vancouver Canucks. And it comes on the heels of a night where the Edmonton Oilers go to Dallas and they play against another team that's a legit Stanley Cup contender in the Central Division. And it just feels like the Dallas Stars are picking up steam right now. And it's going to be very interesting come playoff time here to see what happens in the first round because all signs point to the Edmonton Oilers getting the Vegas Golden Knights in the first round. And that's been such a big issue for them. See some of the defensive kind of issues that have popped up for Edmonton. I know it's just a, a one game sample against Dallas, but Vegas is one of those teams. They're hard to play against. They're battle tested. They've been through it. And for the Vancouver Canucks, that's huge that they can find a way to possibly avoid the Vegas Golden Knights and maybe play one of Nashville or the Los Angeles Kings because that's not a team that you want to see come playoff time. No, it's not. Though the Kings, uh, Frankie, look pretty good uh, on Wednesday night as well. I mean, this is a team that seems to be getting hot at the right at the perfect time as well. Yeah, the Kings are an interesting team, Jay. Everyone talks about the 1-3-1 that they play in the neutral zone. And for those who aren't familiar with it, basically it's one player is going to go four check. They stack three players horizontally right through the middle of the ice. And there's one player who's always retrieving seemingly every puck that gets dumped in. And for some reason, when you watch L.A., it's always Drew Doughty. And he's so good still. And he's so good at breaking <laughs> out the puck. The problem with that 1-3-1 one, one is people complain about it. They say it slows things down. It bogs the game down. If it was so easy to play that 1-3-1, one, one, everyone would do it. Yeah. The LA Kings are just very good at implementing it into their system. Now, where they get in trouble is that it becomes a crutch for them. It becomes one of those things where if they don't do it very well, they get leaky. And we saw that for a couple months this season. But there's been times this year where you watch LA play and you're like, man, that's not a team I want to play come playoff time, even though they don't have that star goaltender the way Winnipeg, Dallas, Vancouver are going to have in the playoffs. Yeah, and uh, Drew Doughty mentioned him leading the NHL in minutes per game. Again, the guy just gets better with age, just like this guy, Frankie Corrado, and he's very young. He's only going to get better as an analyst as he continues on. Frankie, thanks for this.